everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Danielle if you're new and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. Today I thought it'd be fun if I gave you guys a quick little office tour slash inventory system tour. Um, I know in one of my weekly vlogs I just did I was moving around my office and I said that I would do a video like this to kind of show you guys the ending of it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick tour of my office area and how I store my inventory and all that stuff. So if you're interested stay tuned and let's get started. Okay so walking into the room the first thing you're going to see is this uh, photo setup that I have going on. This is just two box lights and then a ring light. And then I put some paper on the wall for a cute background. Right over here is my shipping station. So here I have the priority mail mailers. I have boxes, other boxes. And in here I have um, just some regular mailers for first class packages. I have my inventory bags a folder some extra bags and then in here there's extra tape and then themed mailers that i'm not using right now swinging over this way there's a closet there that i'll show you eventually swinging over this way i have my clothing rack that i use very often i basically store all my clothes there when they need to be photographed and measured um, then we have a three drawer rolly thingy this holds um, if I've had things returned, if um, this middle one here holds damaged items or items that I need to fix. And then on top, I have stuff that needs to have flat lays, my tape measure, also a lint roller, a fabric shaver, goo gone, baby wipes, all the stuff I use to kind of clean my stuff. Panning up this wall, I just have some decor up here. Um, that I like and it's just a little small decor area a cute little background. So that's cute Panning over this way um, This is kind of me and my boyfriend's office So this is his side over here and my side over here. I'll show you his side really quick He's like a gamer and Here's his wall. Those are lights that are right now. They're voice activated, but you can have them go to music or Pretty much whatever but right now they are going to my voice so his office is here he has a little cubicle type thing this is kind of an overview of his desk his gamer setup and then we do have a Funko Pop wall over here that just has all of our Funko Pops mostly my boyfriend's and I have a few on there too like um, this line right here of Incredibles, <laughs> those are mine. So here is my desk. I have an L-shaped desk and a drawer system. Down here I have a bin for my recycling. These are just boxes of stuff that I am working on currently. Um, this right here, I have a candle of course, my lamp, my Dymo printer, my iMac is here. And then I have a little organizer over here with my favorite pens and my planner and all that stuff. And then my another set of pens. I love pens. <laughs> and then moving my chair, if you come over here, this is a pair of shoes I need to work on. Sorry, the lighting's kind of bad. Uh, my Apple computer is here, my laptop. My hydro jug, of course, is always with me. I also have a printer. And here is my file cabinet that holds just all of our files. All right, so this is my drawer system that pretty much holds most of my stuff that I use and stuff that I don't use, but it's just my storage area, so I will open these and show you. My first drawer just has these organizers in it, and I have more pens, of course, Sharpies, paper clips. Over here, I have more paper clips and clips. Here, I have my electric lighter and my Cricut tools. Up here, we have just a little hand lotion, hand sanitizer, lip balm. Some push pins up here, my remote controller for my ring light, some tape, my mouse for my computer that I don't use, but this is just kind of my most organized drawer for sure, but this is kind of my office tools. Next up is this one right here. This kind of holds more markers and more pins. I love pins. Um, it has my breakfast journal and it also has my spirals that I'm using and some other little notebooks. This next drawer holds my colored pencils and my adult coloring books. 
and over here is my Monate stuff. Moving on, this drawer has just um, my non-heat press vinyl for my Cricut, so nothing really exciting here, just some vinyl. And then this drawer has my heat press vinyl, my Cricut mats, and then two little boards that I was working on. And I'm just not really making stuff with my Cricut right now. So that's in here. And the last drawer is my Cricut cords because I put my Cricut up. Some more tools, spray paint, some boards, clothes, just stuff I can use with my Cricut. All right, here is another view of my photo setup. Here's my back wall paper that was literally horrible to put up. I cut out a little thing there for my cords. And then I just have a nail right there, if you can see, for when I hang my stuff. All right, moving into this closet. I'll kind of come in here and give you a pan up. So this is kind of my closet that also stores some inventory and other things. So down here I have jeans and some other random inventory that's not in my inventory system uh it's hanging out down here for whatever reason it's could be multiple reasons and then back there is a jomar box that was not great <laughs> probably my worst worst one i got so it's sitting over there it's listed it's just there for when i sell something um some extra boxes for shipping down here i have my white rug for my flat lays here i just have some extra inventory for i think it's for facebook marketplace I have clothes everywhere. This is a scale that I use. This is a step ladder because I'm short. Panning up, I just have my bags sitting here. I have like a Fabletics bag, Steve Madden, uh, my Poshmark bag, my Lululemon bags. I kind of use those sometimes so I know where they are. Panning up this way, I do have some inventory stored here. These are my cardigans are here, my sweaters are here, and my kind of jackets and coats are over here. These are just bulkier things that don't really fit in my inventory system that just do better hanging up. So these are hanging here. Up here, I keep some flip inventory. I have them labeled with a sticky note so I know whose inventory is whose. Panning up to this top area, I have some banker's boxes that just have my files from past years. My Dymo box that I don't need but I'm keeping. Um, some extra large priority mail boxes. And then up there is more shipping boxes that I use. Over here is more flip inventory. So once again, I do label it with the sticky note so I know whose is whose when I'm pulling it. Uh, over here is extra Dymo labels and just extra stuff that I keep over there. Over here is also like the other side. Um, I keep dresses in the back that are too bulky and big or for whatever reason, they're over here. And then I keep shirts and stuff here. And then down here, I have um, more flip, obviously I could have folded that, more flip inventory that is labeled with sticky notes. So this is the closet. It is very organized. I'm a very organized person. I do not like clutter. So there we are. Moving into the other room with my inventory system. So this is the overview of my inventory system. Um, I keep this in kind of a closet of our living room that we're not using. So shoes are on this side and shoe racks. And over here are inventory bins with all the inventory. And up there is flip inventory with these sticky notes like the other room. I originally had all the flip inventory in here, but I quickly had way too many lots. So I had to move some into the other room. Also up there on that shelf, if I have more inventory, I do keep it up there. So walking in here, this shoe rack, I actually, my dad helped me make it with um, PVC pipe and just really thin wood. I keep most of my shoes on here. And the good thing about this shoe rack is I can literally take these off and add poles going up if I wanted to add to it. So, and then I have another shoe rack here that is a little smaller that I already had. Um, I have a ton of shoes, so I decided to use both in here and they fit perfectly. So here is an overview of the shoe rack. It works well for me and I can add to it easily as well. Moving over here to the inventory bins, they are labeled 
A through P. And then I do have a Q over there, but I'm trying to get rid of Q, even though these are all really full because Q just doesn't fit in this closet. Um, I'm trying to make sure I don't outgrow this inventory space. So I'll show you an example with H. Um, I label them here and then everything in here has a Ziploc bag and a number. So everything in here has a Ziploc bag and a number. And so this is how I kind of store my inventory. This works for me. I've been doing this for a long time. I like using a Ziploc bag because it is reusable. So once I take this item out and ship it, I reuse this bag and this number and put another item in it. So it's more sustainable and it's just better for the environment and I don't waste plastic. I do want to say it did take me a very long time to get to this point. I've been reselling for over three years and I have made it into my career path. This is what I want to do with my life. And it does not take all of this to start reselling. You don't need a light kit. You don't need this. You don't need an inventory system. Like, But this is what works for me now. And with the amount of items I have in my closet, which is over 600, this is how storing my inventory works for me. I also have flip consignment and all this other stuff that I have to keep track of. So this is what works for me. What works for me doesn't always work for everyone else. But if you did get some ideas from this video and you want to take some stuff from it, that's great. But you do not need all this fancy stuff to start reselling. It literally just takes the clothes from your closet and a wall and a hanger and your phone. And that's all you need. You don't need a label maker. You don't need a fancy iMac. You don't need any of this stuff. But this is what works for me. And this is what I enjoy using in my business. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys. And I hope you enjoyed seeing a little tour of my office. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again on Monday for another weekly vlog. And I will see you on Wednesday for another What's a Wednesday. Wednesday video. Bye.